Hey everybody, Matt here. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, we're going to take a beginner look at SketchUp Free. So SketchUp is a 3D modeling program and SketchUp Free is the browser-based version of it. You can get to SketchUp Free by searching for SketchUp and then clicking on SketchUp Free. And then click on Start Modeling. At this point, you'll log in with your account credentials. If you don't have an account with Trimble, which is totally free, then go ahead and set yourself up with a free account and then log in. That's what I'm going to do, and then I'll be right back at you. All right, so this is what SketchUp Free looks like. They put a person, a, a model of a person here just to give you some scale. We're not going to need this, so I'm just going to left mouse click to select it and press the delete key. Okay. I'm going to approach SketchUp from a woodworker's point of view. So in this very, very beginner basic type tutorial video, I'm just going to draw a couple of two by fours, modify them a little bit, move them around a little bit, maybe join them together just to give you an idea of how to work the tools. So in order to draw a two by four, I'm going to go over to here, the toolbar and choose the rectangle tool. When I left mouse click it, I get several other choices. I'm going to choose this rectangle. I'm going to move down to the origin. I'm going to left mouse click and then move the mouse. And as you can see, it's drawing a sort of a flat rectangle. In the very bottom right hand corner, way down here, are some dimensions that automatically get applied to the rectangle that I'm drawing. So the further out that I move this way, you can see the right hand digit over here, the right hand coordinate gets bigger and bigger. Likewise, the further I move in this direction, the larger the first coordinate gets. So these are the coordinates of the rectangle corners. All right, so what I want to do is draw a two by four, which is three and a half inches wide and an inch and a half tall. And just for fun, I'll make it, let's say, a foot long. So I know that the width dimension is the first number in this box over here. And then the length dimension is the second number. So I can go ahead and just, without clicking in that box over here, the dimensions box at all. I'll just leave the mouse right over here and I'll type in the dimensions that I want. So I want 3.5 inches, comma, and let's do 12 inches long. So 12 and then inches. And there is my rectangle. I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in. I'm going to press and hold down the scroll button on my mouse and also press and hold down the left shift key on my keyboard and then move the mouse and that lets me pan what I've drawn so far. Okay, so now that's the rectangle tool. So what I need to do is make that two-dimensional shape that I just drew into a three-dimensional shape. And I'm going to use the push-pull tool. So I'm going to left-click it with the mouse, choose push-pull. When I go over here, it's a little bit different, difficult to see, but this face that I drew right here gets filled with some dots. I'm going to left-mouse click and then move the mouse up. I want my 2x4 to be an inch and a half thick, so I'm going to type in 1.5 inches, 
and hit enter. So there is my 2x4. I'm going to click on the little um, select arrow over here. And now if I hold down the scroll button, it lets me orbit around and look at the three-dimensional object that I just drew. For fun, we can use the measuring tape tool, which is right here, tape measure. If I click on that, click on tape measure, move to one corner of the two by four that I drew, and then move the tape measure to the other corner, it tells me it's one foot long or 12 inches. If I move to the top corner right here, it tells me it's an inch and a half thick. While I've got the tape measure tool uh, active, if I press and hold the scroll wheel down on my mouse, I can orbit the 2x4 around, release the scroll wheel, so now my tape measure tool reappears, and I move to this corner of the 2x4 and it shows me it's 3.5 inches wide. So I have the proper dimensions of the 2x4. I can click on the select arrow button here in the toolbar and now the tool measure, tape measure rather, tool is put away. Okay, so if I, I can zoom out by scrolling the scroll wheel on the mouse, one direction zooms in, the other direction zooms out, and again, if I push down and hold the scroll wheel, I can orbit. If I hold down the left shift key on my keyboard and then press and hold the, the scroll wheel on my mouse, the cursor, mouse cursor, turns into a little hand, allows me to move the mouse around and move my drawing. So again, I've got the left shift key pressed and held down, and I've got the scroll wheel on my mouse pressed and held down. And then at the same time, I'm moving the mouse around and I can pan my object. Release the shift and the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm back to where I started. Okay, now very, very, very important, especially for beginners that use SketchUp. What we want to do now is we want to make this object a group. So I'm going to left mouse click and hold the mouse button down and drag from left to right and I'm going to select the whole 2x4 that I drew. I knew I know that the whole 2x4 is selected because all of the edges have been highlighted and all of the faces have these dots on them. So I know that the whole object has been selected. Now what I want to do is right mouse click the selected object that brings up a little menu and I want to click on make group okay now if I click anywhere in my space here the highlighted uh, edges and faces go away if I click um, let's see if I want to move my object around if I want to move it to a different um, place in my workspace I need to find the move tool which is right here so if I click on that and then click on this move now if I click on I typically hit click on an endpoint now as I move the mouse around I can move my object around in 3d space and then I lift left mouse click again and it and it stops moving the part positions the part click the select arrow button again and now I'm back to where I was okay so now let's do um, two other things for this very brief tutorial I'm going to make a copy of this object so I'm just going to left mouse click it 
I'm going to right click and up here I see cut, copy, these are grayed out and then this last icon is for delete. I want to copy. Okay. Now I right mouse click again. Bring up an abbreviated version of that menu we just looked at and this time I want to click on paste. And there's another copy of my object and I can move it around. So just for fun, I'm going to put it right there. Okay. And notice that all the edges are selected. Okay. If I click anywhere in the workspace, now nothing is selected. Now what I want to do is I want to move I want to move this one. So let's stand this one up. So let's go back to the move tool and the second icon down is for rotate. So I click on that and what I want to do is I want to rotate this up. So let me click on the end point Move the mouse. And there's 90 degrees. If I look down here, here's where the angle is. So I can type in 90 degrees and hit enter. And it stands it straight up. If I want some other bizarre angle like 32.69 degrees, I can type that in and it moves my object to that angle. But we're going to go back to 90 degrees. Okay. Now I want to turn this the other way. So let's click on the endpoint again. And again, I want 90 degrees. All right. That's more like what I wanted. Now let's move this corner over to the origin. Okay. So now let's turn this object and rotate this one. And actually I want to reach I want to rotate it Again, I want 90 degrees. Okay. And now let's stand this up. Ninety degrees. Okay, let's Turn this. Ninety degrees. Okay, slowly but surely getting to what I want. Okay, that's more like what I want. I go back to move, pick up this corner. Now I can move this corner of the selected object to that corner of the stationary object. And just like that, those two pieces are connected. Okay. So that's a little bit about drawing a rectangle. In my case, I was drawing some two by fours, a little bit about moving, a little bit about rotating, a little bit about using the tape measure, a little bit about orbiting, panning, and zooming in and out. 
In the next video, we'll take a look at modifying these components and uh, creating some joints.